Model 5 grading machining parts. To create and modify 3D parts, use grading and machining operations in the model group of the modeling tab. The commands are analogous to real workshop machines that perform the same function. For machining operations, you must have a work plane, correct profile and a part name. For all machining operations, data entry fields that must be filled in are highlighted in yellow. The highlighting will remain until the required data are correctly entered. The active part and work plane are selected by default. You may want to create a new part or work on a different part. Don't forget to change the part and work plane when you start a machining command if necessary. Your changes aren't complete until you click OK. Although you can see the machining operation as a preview in the viewport, your changes are unsaved unless you click the green check mark. All profiles on a work plane are machined. If you use the same work plane for more than one operation, you need to delete unwanted profiles before you begin the next operation and you should remember this rule. The first command that we will deal with is pull. It can be used in two ways, to pull from a profile and to pull from a face. Click selected to choose specific areas of the profile on the work plane. You can also choose add material or remove material in the operation box if the system suggested the operation is not the wanted operation. You can select a pull mode, distance to part to faces to point to plane and set the draft angle. Also, you can set the direction, it can be positive or negative normal direction of the work plane containing the profile or both sides of the work plane. If the keep VP and keep prof are switched on, the work plane and profile will be kept after finishing the command. We also have pull angular command that allows you to add or remove material to one or more 2D profiles around the nexus to create a solid part. Now you can see the result of how easily we get our pin uh, thanks to the pull command. We will use the same pin geometry to see how patch and stamp commands of the Creo Elements Direct Model and Express work. You can stamp or punch one or more profiles linearly through a part or a face part. The difference is that punch tool removes all material inside the punched volume and the stamp tool removes all material outside the stamped volume. Crew Elements punches the selected parts or face parts from an infinite distance in both directions normal to the active rock plane. You may position the rock plane anyway in the partial stamp pass. Only the part specified for the operation will be punched. It is important in case of assemblies when only selected parts will be punched. Realistic feedback option specifies whether to show realistic feedback in the viewport or not. The fold value is taken from the modeling settings. It is easy to switch between punch and stamp tools because they have common dialog box. As we saw, the machining operations Described so far, you can position the rock plane before stamping to achieve, achieve different results. Selected option allows you to specify certain areas of the profile. Refer profile handling. You can also shell the part. It means Gray Elements removes material from the inside of the part to leave a thin walled part. By specifying a negative walk, Wall thickness material can be added to be outside of a part. In the offset field and the wall thickness, click open face and select the face or list of faces you want to open. You can click the open face checkbox to make open face mandatory. If necessary, select an option from the key blend list to specify which blends to suppress during the offset calculation. Click Suppress Features to specify the faces geometrical features that should not be on the shelled part. Check and fix, check the result and resolve interferences between faces. If the shelling operation will result in a corrupt part, Crow Elements will create a face part instead of changing the part itself. 
Sometimes it is easier to create parts in simple pieces and then to join them to create complex. The UNITE command is for such operations, for adding parts to an existing part or uniting parts together to create a single new part. While uniting process, the, there are two types of parts, blank and tools. The blank is the part to be modified and tools are the parts to be joined to the blank or only one part. The result is the part with the name and other characteristics of the blank. Specify the tool for the UNITE operation using the SELECT command to make up a list of all the attached parts. You can also keep the tool as a separate part after the UNITE operation completes. And the option USE GLUE allows automatically to detect matching faces on the blank and tool. This option can save you time when you UNITE parts with matching faces that were created with a section or subtract commands. In the example we have united three parts and now we can position them like one. The process of reflecting with Creo Elements Direct Modeling is performed in such way. First Creo makes a copy of a part needed to be reflected, then makes a mirrored image of the original part and then unites the mirrored part with the original part. You will need to specify an axis to define the normal of the reflect plane and its position. Depending on the position of the reflection plane, this command can add material to the original part, remove the material or simultaneously add and remove. You will also need uh, to select parts, plane and direction both sides for specifying whether to remove material on the normal side of the reflection plane or how to reflect material on both sides of the reflection plane. The subtract command is used to modify a blank by subtracting a tool from it. So you must have at least two different parts. The subtract command allows you to specify more than one blank or specify more than one tool. We have our shaft thicker than inner surface of the gear. So subtracting uh, of our shaft as tool part from gear as a blank part will make inner volume of the gear larger. You can uh, use option keep tool specifying whether or not to keep the original tool parts after the subtract operation. And also if the subtract operation actually splits a blank into two or more pieces then each piece is given a logical name as associated with the original blank. The intersect operation modifies a blank by keeping only the materials that is common for both the blank and the tool. Go to the boolean section in the model group, select blank tool, decide whether you need to keep tool or not and you see now the common, the common part between shaft and gear. The aging printing function of Creo Elements Direct Modeling creates edges on a target part which can either correspond to the linear projection of a profile onto or through a part, to a line defined on one face of the part, to the intersection with another part, you will see now it, it is yellow, or to a silhouette of a specific view of the part. The section command allows you to divide a part into two parts according to a specified section in tool plane. It does not remove any material but creates one or more new parts. The section operation requires a part to be sectioned in the section in tool. In our example, we section a part with a profile. The section in tool can be also one or more faces of a part, surface of a part, a plane, a rock plane and a cross profile, a part and a face part. The rock plane profile sections part linearly both directions normal to the active rock plane. You may position a rock plane anywhere in the section face. If you use faces, face part or plane as section in tool, this must be positioned at the point where you want to section the part. Square elements sections the button produces two or more resulting parts. 
you see now we have three of them and you can behave with them as you wish.